watching the award-winning GHS TV, Germantown Community Television, your hometown news and information station. Welcome to another edition of Germantown Community Television's award-winning Access Together series. Information station. Welcome to another edition of Germantown Community Television's award-winning Access Together series. Informative, educational, and entertaining, our diverse programming lineup offers something unique for every viewer. Whether you want to keep up with the latest community news or learn how changes in the Mid-South and beyond affect us right here at home, these local programs keep the focus on you, the citizens of Germantown. Each show is hosted by a member of the community and produced using the students and facilities of Germantown High School's nationally renowned television station, GHS-TV. These programs are made possible through the combined efforts of the City of Germantown, Shelby County Schools, GHS-TV, and the Germantown Community Television Foundation. If you have any questions, comments, or program ideas, write us at the address on your screen or call 754-4788. You can also email us at ghstv17 at aol.com. For more information about GHS-TV and our programming, visit us on the web at www.ghstv.org. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy the following presentation. Welcome to Chamber Matters. I'm your host, Pat Scroggs, President and CEO of the Germantown Area Chamber of Commerce. During each show, we will take an inside look at the business leaders making a difference in our city. The Germantown Area Chamber of Commerce has existed for more than 37 years. Our staff, board of directors, ambassadors, and volunteers are all dedicated to creating a vibrant business environment through interactive partnerships with business, government, and community. Today in our Business Leaders segment, we are going to meet Brian Hogan, CEO, Baptist Rehabilitation, Germantown. And in our Difference Makers segment, we will meet Tony Martini, President and CEO of Memphis Goodwill, Inc. And in our up next segment, we will discuss with Sharon Carney Wright, Independent Sales Director of Mary Kay Cosmetics, who is the Chairman of the Chamber's 2012 Ambassador Program. These dedicated volunteer leaders are involved with ongoing activities of the Chamber. Join us now as Brian Hogan, CEO of Baptist Rehabilitation Germantown. Welcome, Brian. Thank you. And congratulations on your new position. Thank and you very uh, much. thanks again for uh, the past support and future support that Baptist Rehabilitation gives us. And we're so fortunate to have that wonderful uh, medical group in our community. And so thank you for your leadership. Thank you very much for having me. Well, thanks. Well, uh, just tell our viewers about a Baptist Rehabilitation and, uh, and what you do there. Sure. Um, I am. Um, the CEO currently, I have a background in nursing. Um, I've been with Baptist for about 17 years, um, and I've been at our Germantown campus, which is our rehabilitation hospital, for a little bit over five years now. Um, at Baptist Rehab Germantown, we, our primary focus is physical rehabilitation. So we take people who have had life-changing events, who currently have um, new abilities or disabilities. Our main goal at Germantown Rehab is to partner with the patient and family to teach these patients how to function um, with their new abilities or disabilities, um, how to have um, successful, happy lives it, at home and in the community. Um, our main diagnosis of patients that we see at Baptist Rehab um, would be stroke patients, brain injury patients, uh, spinal cord injury patients, orthopedic patients like joint replacements, um, hip fracture patients, uh, many different other neurological um, ailments, um, but we'd be happy to look at all patients. We accept a great variety of patients there. Um, at Rehab Germantown, we have many different services and levels of care. We have inpatient rehabilitation, which is our most intensive level of care. Um, for those people, they get three hours of therapy a day, and it's five days a week. 
Um, they have to have medical necessity there to require 24-hour nursing and daily physician visits. So that's the most intensive therapy um, that we have there. Uh, we did open a little bit over a year ago a skilled rehabilitation unit, which has been very successful in the community. And that is garnered towards people who have had a joint replacement, maybe a hip fracture and some other neurological ailments. Um, those people usually stay in our hospital around 12 days um, and we've been very successful at getting those people back into the community. So we have the inpatient rehab, the skilled rehab. Uh, we also have a very busy outpatient department. We have many specialized therapies within our outpatient department, including pediatric therapy. Um, we see thousands of visits a year in our outpatient therapy department. Uh, we also have a comprehensive wound care center led by Dr. Guy Fotopoulos. So um, it's an outpatient wound care center treating all kinds of chronic and acute wounds. Um, very successful in their outcomes with patients with these wounds. And, and then we also have full service radiology services at Germantown Rehab. We have um, an open bore MRI. So if people are claustrophobic or large patients, um, we're able to service them at Germantown Rehab. Also, we have um, CAT scan, ultrasound, x-ray, all of the services for radiology. So we are a full service rehabilita re rehabilitation hospital here in the center of Germantown. Right. Well, Brian, obviously that, that is just, all those things make it unique, and that was going to be my next question, and obviously with all the services that you provide, uh, that in itself is unique, but are there some other things that you'd like to mention? There are some special? things, right, there are some things that uh, we think set us apart from others. Uh, we have nine CARF accreditations. CARF stands for the Commission on Accreditation of Rehab Facilities, um, and it's an accreditation above and beyond just what it takes to function as a rehab hospital. Uh, and we have those for stroke, brain injury, and general rehab for both our inpatients and outpatients. So we, that sets us apart. Uh, we have a very experienced, tenured staff um, of people who have been there for 20, 30 years. Um, we have um, very many certifications and specialties. We have therapists who are certified in stroke, orthopedics, brain injury, um, pediatrics. Um, we also have people who specialize in lymphedema, um, balance, and um, swallowing. So we have uh, very many experts and we also have the continuum of care, the full continuum right here in the center of Germantown. We are so fortunate. Well, how do you request a referral perhaps to Baptist Rehab? Right, we have um, a referral hotline 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and it's 757-3434. Um, so anyone can call, you can make a self-referral. If you are a patient, both in or outpatient, and you would like a referral, 757-3434. Um, if you're an inpatient, um, at another facility, you can ask your doctor or case manager to make a referral for you um, and they'll be happy to do that. And then we have a dedicated nurse liaison team um, that sees people um, seven days a week to assess how they would fit into rehab. And then they can um, suggest where you should go in our continuum. Well, we're almost finished, but just real briefly, I know you're so involved with our chamber, but there obviously some other community things that you're involved in. Um, just with a few seconds, you want to mention those? Yeah, well, we're very proud of our partnership with the city of Germantown in everybody's treehouse playground. Right. Um, it was uh, at Riverdale School, and we partnered to uh, be able to provide a place to play for children of all abilities. Right. So we were very happy to have that. Right. Well, thank you, Brian. I know uh, there's so many exciting things going on at Baptist Rehab, and thank you for being on the show today. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. We're going to pause for a short break. When we return, we will meet with Tony Martini, President and CEO of Memphis Goodwill, Inc.
can now watch your favorite Germantown community television shows from anywhere in the world. GHS TV is streaming online, live 24-7. A viewing screen displays our channel just like you see on television. Simply visit our website at www.ghstv.org. So log on and enjoy hometown news from anywhere in the world, only at ghstv.org. Smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. You're watching the award-winning GHS-TV, Germantown Community Television, your hometown news and information station. Welcome back. Joining us is Tony Martini, President and CEO of Memphis Goodwill, Inc., Thank you for being on our show today, Tony. Thank you for having me, And I uh, appreciate all the, the goodwill you provide to residents of Shelby County. Uh, tell our viewers about the mission of Goodwill, please. Goodwill was founded as an extension of the Methodist ministry back in the turn of the century. It was established by a Methodist minister named the Rever Reverend Edgar Helms. Um, because of the plight of the poor Irish immigrants in the community, um, and the fact that they could not find work, uh, he decided to establish the Goodwill Industries. So by taking uh, things that are discarded or no, no longer needed by the community, uh, Goodwill provides jobs for people with disabilities or other significant barriers to employment. How about that? Well, um, I know that uh, about 600 people are employed, I understand, from Goodwill. In, in the mid um, What type of individuals work at Goodwill? We have, uh, we have persons with significant barriers to employment, um, from physical disabilities to mental challenges to um, lack of experience, um, socioeconomic dif difficulties, difficulties breaking into the job market. And uh, th anything that would prevent someone from getting a job, Goodwill's interested. Goodwill's all about jobs. That's a, such a wonderful thing, and I don't know that everyone realizes that in the community. Uh, well, how does someone apply to work at Goodwill? You would just go to our website. You would go to goodwillmemphis.org. There's an application there. It's very simple. We're always hiring, um, and you just go to the website. Or you could stop into any one of our locations. We have 22 attended donation centers around Shelby County and also in Mississippi and the counties surrounding Shelby. We go all the way up into Tipton County. We have uh, a, a donation drop-off in Atoka. We also have one in Covington, Tennessee, and we have a store in Millington and a drop-off in Millington. And we also go to, we, we're in Lakeland, we're in Arlington, we're all over Everybody. North Mississippi. Yeah. Right. Well, how does the donation process work and um, what type of people or things can people donate? It's almost unlimited what you can donate to Goodwill. We, we love, the people of Shelby County and the surrounding area of Mississippi are just very, very generous. So it's, it would be easier for you to tell so me I mean, what not, we do not. take than... You don't what, take animals. <laughs> we don't take animals. We don't, we don't take chemicals and we yeah. don't take paint and things like that. Right. No food products. Right. And it's really hard to find something that Goodwill will not take. Right. We'll, take uh, we'll take an automobile, whether it's running or not. Oh, see, I didn't know that. We're always happy to accept money, sure, <laughs> right. but uh, it all goes straight to our 501c3 mission. Well, um, for example, if you do get something and it doesn't sell, what do you do with those things? You'd be surprised at how much we do get. Um, some of it sells right away. Some of it does not, and we have several other outlets for product that didn't sell. It will at first go to our half price stores. We have two half price stores, one on Shelby Drive and one on Highland. If it doesn't sell at the half price store, it goes to the bargain barn. The bargain barn, we pile it up onto these big rolling tables and you buy it by the pound. So you could literally get an armload of uh, hmm. clothing for just a few dollars. Interesting. And uh, then if it doesn't sell then, then uh, we, we, um, 
bale it with these industrial sized balers that we have into large bales. We ship them out to third world countries in the salvage market. So with, I, I'd like to tell the community that every donation uh, Goodwill cherishes and we're good stewards of our donations and we take, we take our mission very seriously to, uh, to treat people's donations right. with respect because you bought your blouse or your suit or your shirt or your pair of shoes and right. you thought an awful lot of it when you bought it so we try to treat it with tender love and care. Well I think that's appreciated by everyone. Well what are the future plans for Goodwill? We will continue to grow. People have noticed our growth and it's very, very nice to, to hear the comments. Uh, everyone would like to have a store, mm -hmm. but uh, our business model calls for us to have enough donations in our stores for the, it to be an interesting, entertaining shopping experience. So when you go in, you want to have a full store. In order for us to do that, we have to collect a lot of donations. So we have 22 donation centers. They're all attended uh, during business hours and an attendant will come right out and help you take your donation uh, in, uh, from your car into the donation center. But we have to have a whole lot more donation centers than we do stores. So we have 22 donation centers and we have six stores and we have a bookstore. Now that's just in Memphis uh, in the surrounding area. In Mississippi we have um, a roughly um, 12 donation centers going all the way from the Mississippi River all the way over to Tupelo, Mississippi. We have centers in um, Corinth, uh, Batesville, um, Hernando, Olive Branch, uh, South Haven. Uh, we're all over Tipton, I mean uh, DeSoto County. So we're quite, quite well spread throughout our territory. It absolutely is. Well, that was going to be one of my other questions is how many stores and donations, but you answered that. And uh, I just find it fascinating because um, obviously um, have contributed and been involved a little bit with Goodwill. And then I mentioned earlier to you privately that, you know, we've donated books and that type of things like that. So um, I think it, it, it's a great service for the community. Uh, is there anything else, um, uh, a website or a phone number or anything that you'd like to give the viewers if uh, they need further information? Um, about our, Goodwill? Mm -hmm. Our phone number locally is 901-323-6221 or you can go to our website at goodwillmemphis.org um, and what I'd like to say is thank you to the people of Memphis and the, and the surrounding area and Germantown. Uh, we love the donations we get out of Germantown and we're looking forward to coming to Germantown. Well great. Well it's a pleasure to have you Tony and wish you all the success in the world in 2012. Thanks Pat. We're going to take a break, but be sure to stay with us because when we return, we will talk with Sharon Carney Wright, the chairman of the 2012 Chambers Ambassador Program. For more than 20 years, we brought you quality programming. We're your hometown news and information station, Germantown Community Television. Our Access Together series puts you in touch with what's happening in Germantown with programs that both enlighten and entertain. For hometown hosts, a hometown attitude, and a genuine concern for you, our hometown viewers, stay tuned to Channel 17 each week and weekend for a new Access program produced in the nation's number one educational TV facility, the award-winning Access Together series. Only on the station that puts you first, Germantown Community Television. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah. The spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. And a mama dwarf, she cut out that thumb from the corner. Watching the award-winning GHS TV, Germantown Community Television, your hometown news and information station. You are watching Chamber Matters. The Germantown Area Chamber of Commerce offers many positive programs for its members and the public. Sharon Carney Wright is the chairman of the Ambassador Program for 2012. Welcome, Sharon. 
we take the very best and just um, ask and ask for different things. And I know you've helped us on other committees before and have been an ambassador for the last several years. So thank you for being the chairman this year. Yes, thank you. Well, it's an honor to represent the, the ambassadors. Well, thank you. Well, uh, tell our viewers about what the chamber ambassadors are. Okay. Well, it's a, a select group. Uh, each member is unique in their in his or her own way. But basically, all the serving, all that we do, we all have one thing in common, and that is we are the chamber's official diplomats. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good good way of of saying it too. Well, how does one become an ambassador slash diplomat? <laughs> <laughs> well, you must be active with the chamber as a chamber member for at least a year, and then you also must have served on one of the committees, one of several of the committees, whether it would be the annual meeting gala, which is coming up this next week, the business expo, the golf tournament, taste of the town, or something that we just finished up, the holiday tour of homes. Absolutely. Well, what do the ambassadors do for the chamber and its members? Very good question. We represent the general membership of the chamber. It's our responsibility to promote goodwill and customer service contacts with the uh, chamber throughout the area. We also assist in the membership with the development and the retention of the membership. We also are responsible for new visits and calling and welcoming and inviting members to all the events. We're responsible for also following up and retaining those new members' involvement because that's so important. Absolutely, and can't tell you how important that is to our staff, too. Uh, well, how does the chamber benefit, then, obviously, from the ambassador's participation? Well, <laughs> I would hope that if we're doing a good job at what we are to do, the mm -hmm. chamber members feel, then, more connected. And so they actually look forward to participating in events and, and participating in activities that we have. Um, because of that connection that we have and that's so important it makes for some great networking and of course a strong chamber presence would also definitely be appealing to a person that is considering starting a business in the Germantown area. Well that was going to be my next question then how does it you know we don't want to just be takers we want to be givers also so how does the ambassador benefit from being uh, uh, in our program? That's the best part mm -hmm. because, you know, Mary Kay always said that which you put into the lives of others comes back to your own tenfold. And I truly do believe that we really benefit more than the services that, that we do simply because, of course, it's the networking, the um, business exposure, the relationships that we have an opportunity to develop with professionals that are at our same level and also the friendships that are developed and, of course, the fun. We have a whole lot of that, too. Absolutely. Well, I always know that the ambassadors are the most fun group in, within our chamber, and, and they're so special to all of us. Well, tell me about the Ambassador of the Month program and uh, are the winners, and then obviously the Ambassador of the Year. Very good. You know, um, I always tell my consultants that attract number grows. Mm -hmm. And so it's so important to track it. And as an official diplomat mm -hmm. of the chamber, we have responsibilities to participate in all events. Of course, those events would be ribbon cuttings and grand openings, general membership meetings, the um, new members reception that we have once a quarter, business after hours, the, the ambassadors meetings themselves. And so in addition to participating in the committees, we also, uh, as I had mentioned, are on some of the, the committees like the annual meeting, um, gala, the business expo, the, the golf tournaments, etc. So basically, we have a point system that is assigned to each of those events. And so based on the points, each month the ambassador of the month receives a, uh, a, a a recognition at the monthly membership meeting and, and of course the Shops of Saddle Creek sponsor that and it's a, along with a gift certificate so and then each year the ambassador of the year is recognized at the annual meeting gala and in addition to that we have some extra fun we divide our team the ambassadors into two teams and the team that has the highest points at the end of the the um, at the end of yeah. the year get get some re special recognition too at the gala All right well always a fun group. Well, tell me about the plans for 2012. 2012 goal. Well, it is obviously to continue to grow the membership. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, which is even more important, I believe, is to continue to create stronger relationships for our current membership. 
and uh, develop that camaraderie and the esprit de corps that uh, would foster and encourage their increased participation and, and strengthen the chamber. Well, very well said, Sharon, and it takes somebody with your background to uh, chair a, a strong group, and obviously uh, we want those businesses to do well and, um, and secure and make relationships like you've mentioned before. Well, just briefly, I always have to brag just towards the end about uh, your background with Mary Kay, and so um, how many years have you won a car? Oh, my. I was 27 when we won our first free car. <laughs> We're not telling the ages. No. <laughs> We're just going to say the years. Mary Kay always said, if you tell your age, you'll tell anything. <laughs> yeah. No, I just meant that you won it a number of years, 20 plus, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. yes. That's, what I, that's where, I, that was where I was going with, with that. And uh, do you see some similarities in uh, some of the consultants that you work with and encouraging them and inspiring them as you will the ambassadors this year, you think? You know, what I truly, it, it's, it's all about people, mm -hmm. and it's all about creating relationships, whether it's a customer or a consultant or an ambassador. Mm -hmm. And so we just have so much fun with, with developing those relationships and nurturing those relationships, and that truly is what right. makes it. Well, difference. I could see a similarity, and that's where I was going with that. Definitely. But thank you so much for chairing it this year. Thank you. Thank you for being with us today on Chamber Matters. We appreciate all of our guests on today's show, Brian Hogan, Tony Martini, and Sharon Carney Wright. If you want further information regarding membership, please call us or look at our website, www.germantownchamber.com. If you're interested in the air dates of Chamber Matters or any other shows on GHS TV, look in the Germantown News for the programming schedule, or you can visit ghstv.org, where we are also streaming live 24 hours a day. Also, you can keep up with GHS TV by visiting us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you again for joining us and be sure to watch Chamber of Matters again next month.